So, we're looking at progressively more complex commands, and that now leads us to the if command, or the iterative command. Now, the iterative command in our pseudocode is a little bit different than you might be used to. It starts with if, it ends with fi, so that's like end in most um, languages, and then each of those particular lines we call a guarded statement or a guarded command. So what do we have? Well, if GI holds, then you may execute SI. It has to be the case that at least one of the guards must evaluate to true. It may be the case that more than one guard is true. And what does that mean? Well, that then means that you don't know which of the guarded commands is actually executed. It may be that randomly one of them is picked but only one of them actually will be executed. What this means is that the if command is non-deterministic. It may be that multiple guards evaluate to true, that the commands associated with those guards put the variables in different states, and therefore you don't quite know what the final result is. However, that doesn't really matter, because the post condition tells you what must be true about those states, and as long as you end up in a state where the post condition is true, you don't care exactly what that state is.